Hi, I'm Ronnie. In a previous video, I made this really cute boiler. It is for a steam engine and it has a very small chance of exploding. However, after I posted it on the internet, I got loads of comments on how dangerous this is and that I should make something to release the pressure or not use it at all. So in this video, I'm going to listen to the comments and make a pressure or a safety release valve to make sure that while I'm using this, no one gets killed. The boiler itself is made from a mocha pot and the mocha pots come with these small safety valves. So I removed the safety valves. I wanted to use them, but they were faulty. They leak around the edges. They don't create any pressure while the center part is blocked and no steam can escape through the release mechanism. So it doesn't work in the way it is intended to and I also cannot build up any steam pressure. So I removed the, the valves and added these nice handles. Personally, I'm not that worried about the pot exploding in the specific setup that I'm using. The engine itself is an oscillating engine and it has a release mechanism where even if the engine is not running, uh, I cannot create pressure above 2.5 bars. It always releases pressure. And I think that should be fine. However, I might want to use these boilers in the future for a different type of steam engine or a different machine where it might be blocked completely or it might not work in the same way and pressure can build up a bit more and a safety valve of course would be needed for that. Also I am going to give away one of these engines and it's better to just have safety valves included if you give away anything that has high pressure. And I also do not think it's necessary to take any small risk for something that is trivial to fix. The first step of making this pressure safety valve is to take this nut and clean up the surface to make a nice seal with a small o-ring and then drill a hole through the nut itself. I will drill the hole 1.5 millimeters and then I will make the inner diameter of the stopper 1.2 millimeters so there is space for the steam to press up against the o-ring and release when necessary. The second step is to turn this small piece of aluminium down with a long shaft and a head that will cover the nut and with the o-ring it will form a seal. I will thread the shaft and I will mount a spring between the nuts and then I can adjust it to make sure that the pressure releases at the value that I feel comfortable with. So I completed all the parts for the boiler including the safety valve. I drilled a hole through the other side of the pot because I wanted to keep the handle. It makes it easier to handle the whole thing when there's hot steam or hot water inside. The pieces for the safety valve is really simple. I only had to make two things. One is uh, this aluminium stopper. It has a really thin part with a threaded bit and the top part that seals and a nut that I smoothed the top part and I drilled the hole through. And then the rest of the bits are just to make it work. So I will assemble it. So I use normal rubber O-rings that just slides onto the plunger bit. And then the nut itself gets an O-ring on the outside. The plunger goes through and it just slides up and down. Then I have a spring. This is a spring from a pen that just fits over the plunger small washer and then a nut to lock it in place. To attach it to the boiler is simple enough. It just fits through the boiler and the nut screws in on the other side. If this is tightened enough, it creates a seal so no steam can leak through the sides. And then the way this is works it is really simple. As the pressure builds up, it will press against this outer o-ring, which will press the plunger out a bit, and this will release steam. And I can adjust these nuts to make the spring tighter, and then of course uh, have a bit more pressure. So I can adjust it to be around 
two to three bar before it releases. And everything can be tightened up and the pot itself can be sealed with its corresponding lid. And this is the new version of the boiler. To test everything, I can just pressurize it. So I can pump it to say two bars and see everything is fine. There's no leakages. Then I can pressurize it more and see when it starts to release pressure. So just as it gets above 2.5 bars, it starts to release pressure. The last thing of course to do is just to check that everything still works. So I set it up and everything is still running. It is quite nice to see that the safety valve doesn't affect the running at all. Uh, in fact, I can actually remove steam. Uh, it's a bit dangerous. I need to have a glove to make sure I do not burn, but I can release the pressure manually now without trying to unscrew anything. I think the engine runs at about 1.5 bar. If I measured it previously, this is approximately how it sounds or the speed that it runs at around 1.5 bars. So I think the pressure doesn't go anywhere close to 2.5 bars when the pressure will release for the steam valve. So this was just a quick side project for adding some safety features to the steam engine that I'm building. And I'm really happy I did it because I want to give one of these away and I don't want it to explode if anything goes wrong in handling it. Just a quick thanks to my Patreon members. Uh, your support is really appreciated. So thanks to you guys. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.